All right, now Samsung Gallery application on One UI is amazing. It's of course one of the best gallery applications you can find in Android ecosystem today. So in this video, let's check out 10 cool features on Samsung Gallery application. Now, most of these features you would already know if you have been using Samsung phones, but if you are new to Samsung, you must consider watching this full video. Before we start, if you're someone who love watching contents on Samsung phones, Android apps, Galaxy watches, or anything related to technology, do smash that subscribe button and become a part of Apex community. Community. Now let's dive right into it. The first feature is creating GIFs, movies, highlight reels. Now let's open gallery application. When you tap on these three dots here, you will find an option called create. When we tap on this, we have got highlight reel, movie, GIF and collage. These are some brilliant editing options that we have within the gallery application. When I tap on highlight reel, I can select few images or videos to create a highlight reel here. Let's tap on few images here and tap on highlight reel which is shown at the bottom. Automatically the highlight reel will be created with some cool background music as well. And at the bottom we do have few options to change the background music such as comics, happy, launch, relaxing and upbeat. We can also increase or decrease the speed of this highlight reel. We also have an option to add text or music here at the bottom. On top right corner, we also have an option to change the aspect ratio. You can just tap on it to change them. And right from here, if you want to share this highlight reel, you can do that as well, or you can just save it within the gallery. Likewise, we can also create movie, GIF and collage. We have got all the editing features within the application. Creating a movie is also very easy on this editing tool. We have options to add titles, music, and we can also add transitions between the clips. That's just amazing. A very useful intuitive editing feature within the gallery application, which is much appreciated. The second feature is copy to clipboard. Now, when you open a particular image and when you tap on these three dots, we have an option called copy to clipboard. When you tap on that, the image will be copied to clipboard and you will be able to paste it anywhere you want. Let's open notes here and I'll create a new note. And here I have an option to paste this image directly from the keyboard. I can just tap on this to paste the image that I just copied from the gallery application. That is also a useful, cool feature we have here. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at the third feature. This is changing the album cover or thumbnail, which is shown on a particular album. Let's tap on albums here. As you can see, these album covers are randomly selected by the application itself. Now, if you want to change it, just press and hold on that particular album. At the bottom right corner, you will see more. Just tap on that, change cover image. Now, uh, whatever images are available within that album will be shown to you. You can just tap on the image you want and set it on album cover. As you can see, the image that I have selected is on the album cover now. That is another customization option that we have here, which is fantastic. All right, now today's video is sponsored by Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN is a tool that encrypts your data and hides your virtual location. There are n number of VPN services or apps available, but this one here seems to be pretty good. Most of us know how a VPN works, don't we? But for those of you who are not aware, let me just brief you how exactly it works. When you connect a VPN server, your device is given a new IP and DNS address. All of the traffic is encrypted and routed towards the VPN server. When the traffic arrives at the server, the VPN server decrypts the information and allows the traffic to access the desired destination, thus giving access to media and websites of the selected location. Let's say we don't get to watch a particular show on Netflix in our region, we can use Atlas VPN to stream various such geo-restricted shows on Netflix. We can use Atlas VPN to watch The Lord of the Rings on Netflix by connecting to a Canadian server and there are quite a lot of other Netflix shows that I can now watch. For example, if I connect to the US server, I get access to streaming shows like The Office, The Twin Peaks or I can connect to the UK servers and stream Rick and Morty, Top Gear, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Canadian servers unlock streaming movies like The Avengers or Harry Potter. To find out what shows are unavailable in your Netflix library, head on to unox.com. Now it's not just for Netflix, there are many other streaming platforms that can be unlocked with Atlas VPN like Disney+, Amazon Prime, BBC, iPlayer, Hulu and HBO. As far as the compatibility is concerned, Atlas VPN is available on any devices running on Windows, Android, iOS and Mac OS. 
Now the best part is currently Atlas VPN is running a huge discount on their 3 year deal for just $1.39 per month with a 30 day money back guarantee. That sounds awesome isn't it? The deal won't last for long so make sure to check it out by clicking the link in the video description below. Getting this premium service for just $1.39 per month is worth it for the benefits that you're gonna get from Atlas VPN. So do go ahead and check out Atlas VPN. The links are in the description. Fourth one is grouping similar images together. You can see a tiny icon on the top here. When you tap on that, what it's going to do is it's going to group all the images together. Let's say if your gallery has few similar looking images, it's going to group them together and keep it in one place. As you can see, there are a few images of flowers here. It is showing me there are three images within this group. If you don't want them to be shown in a group, you can just tap on the same icon again. The images will be scattered again. That's the fourth feature. Now the next feature is enabling album panel on the left. I did make a quick video in the past about this particular feature. Uh, I thought why not include this feature in this video as well. So uh, let's go to albums here and let me open a particular album. Now here when I swipe from left to right on the screen, you can see there is an all new album panel on the left hand side. So you don't have to go back from here to go to a particular album. You can scroll through here on this strip and see all the available albums within the gallery application. So that saves a couple of seconds probably. But yeah, it's a cool feature which is there within the gallery application. The next one is Bixby integration within the gallery application. Let me show you how that works. Let's go ahead and open an image with the text. On the top right corner, you can see this eye icon here. When you tap on this, we get few options at the bottom. We have options like text, search, shopping cart, QR code scanner, as well as wine recognition. Out of these, one important feature which we are going to use more often is extracting text. So if the image has got any sort of text on it, this feature will automatically extract the text. And we have options like translate, copy, search. So if you want to copy and paste this text to anywhere else, you can do that. Perhaps in the messages or notes, you can paste it there. Then we have got translate options. If you want to translate this to any other languages, you can do that and you can also search it on web. So this is a very cool integration that we have. So the other options like search, QR code search, as well as finding a wine label is also possible using this feature. So this is a cool integration we have within the gallery application. Now moving on to the next one, we have got full screen scrolling, which was recently added with the update. This is not a very useful feature as such, but it is definitely visually pleasing. So when you open pictures and scroll the pictures, it's going to make use of the entire screen real estate by hiding this strip at the bottom and the top, making it kind of easier to find the images that you're looking for. This can be enabled on gallery settings. As you can see here, we have got a switch here called full screen scrolling. Just turn on this button and you're good to go. Now the eighth one is Gallery Labs which gives us a deeper access and some additional features within this application. Now if you're not aware of Gallery Labs, this is not enabled by default. So this feature is not available by default on the application. All you need to do is just hit this hamburger menu at the bottom right corner, then go to settings. And when you scroll down, you will be able to see about gallery option here. Tap on that. You will see version number on the top keep tapping on that multiple times continuously, you will be able to enable gallery labs. Once it is enabled, you will be able to see gallery labs at the bottom. When you tap on that, you will see plenty of options or switches or toggles available here, which add some additional functionalities as well. Now there is a notice here, all functions in labs are not official, but only for internal test. Each change will be applied only after restarting the application. Please close the app from recent to apply the changes. So whenever you enable any features from gallery labs you will have to close the application and then restart it to apply the changes or effects now gallery labs itself is a cool option or a feature now within this we've got some amazing customizable options for gallery application i'll point out a couple of them here first one is film strip and video seek expansion now just a couple of months ago samsung did update the gallery application and it actually messed it up with the video play button not many of us were happy about that particular change and they actually rectified it by giving us an update again and adding another switch to enable or disable video seek on film strip in viewer option. 
So this is the film strip at the bottom when you open a particular image or a video. Now if you don't want this film strip to be shown at the bottom, you can enable or disable it by switching this particular toggle on Gallery Labs. And we can also disable Video Seek on Film Strip in Weaver, which enables and brings back the video play button with which you will be able to play that particular video. So this is another customizable feature we have within Gallery Labs. Now the tenth and the last feature is Trash Storage Info. As you can see in Gallery Labs, we have got a switch to enable show trash storage info. What this does is it shows the amount of used capacity in the trash when you delete contents. Let me just show you that. Let's go to Gallery. Let me just open a particular image and try deleting it. Now when I press delete button here, it shows recycle bin and the storage available within the recycle bin. This will let you know the storage consumed by recycle bin. So if you feel that the phone is running on low storage, every time you delete an image or a video, you will get this information. You can easily track it here and you can empty the recycle bin if you desire, depending on the storage that you have. So these are some of the cool useful features that are available on Samsung Gallery application which I thought I will share it with you guys. These are very handy features which are available on Samsung's Gallery application. So that's all I have here. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any thoughts to share do let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new on the channel make sure to subscribe and leave a like for the video if you find this video useful. Thanks a lot for watching you guys. Take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.